Hi guys and welcome in the next video. So we did a little bit of programming. We know how to use our teach pendants now, uh, the smart pads. Uh, I think it's time to go a little bit deeper into the things that we need uh, in order to proceed forward with our KUKA programming. And that for me is going to be introduction to variables. So today I wanted to take you through the basics of variables. Ready? Let's get started. Five, seven. All right, you will ask me if you're a fan of programmer, oh my God, variables, definitely that's something crazy, like the, only the most experienced fan of guys are using the variables. Well, guys, this is not necessarily true because what you think of a variable in Fanuc, uh, it's a little bit different than in KUKA. I always say and explain to the people that are new to programming that uh, KUKA is more of like a Linux, whereas Fanuc is uh, Windows. Where on Fanuc everything is very, uh, well, the, of course, depends on personal preference, but it's more user friendly. It's more clear for somebody that doesn't have a knowledge how to do programming, how to find things, how to edit, uh, how to program, and so on and so on. When in KUKA is more of an, let's say, open software, when you can make a lot of things that are not able in Fanuc. And uh, because of that, you are using variables. But for example, in Fanuc, register is also a variable. Of course, nobody is going to say uh, it's a variable because you, you say, well, it's a register, it's a position register, but it is stored in variables and it's what's uh, inside the KUKA as well. So you're going to store a position data. That's a variable. You're going to store your Boolean. That's a variable. You're going to store an integer. That's a variable, right? Storing an integer in KUKA is exactly the same as storing a register in Fanuc. It's the same thing. It's a number in here and in here. It's just in KUKA, we're going to call it a variable that is a type of int. So we're going to talk about the basic variables. That's going to be Boolean, integers, uh, real and char. So we'll be able to store true or false value. We're going to be able to store a numbers. We're going to store a real number and a single letter like A, B or whatever we're going to choose. So we'll, I'm going to show you how it's done in KUKA. So also there are two ways how you can store the information. We can store the information in the source files or we can store the information in the dat files. We can also store the variables in a config file. Depending on what you choose and depending what you want to do with that variable, you need to define the syntax in a different way. In one of them, you want them to be able to look at it. You want to be able to access them only in a specific programs. Other ones, you want to be able to access globally. So you want to set the value to the uh, variable once and then you want to use it. Doesn't matter uh, in, what, in what program you are in and others you want them to be program specific. Also, depending on uh, what you choose, a source file for your variable or a dat file, it is going to stay in the memory longer or shorter. So there is a lot to talk about and a lot I'm going to show you on the exercise. Uh, which type of variable is uh, actually not which type, it's many types, like but if the source file holds it longer or that file holds it longer, if you know, put it down in the comment and you'll see uh, if you are right or maybe there is something that you missed. Besides that, we're going to do a little bit of uh, logic. So maybe we're going to add something, maybe we're going to subtract something. And I'm going to tell you like what variables you can mix. So the question is, can you mix int and real? Can you mix a Boolean and a real? And so on. So that's going to be answered on the exercises. Uh, and I'm quite sure uh, that you're going to be interested in that information. Then we're going to talk a little bit about how to uh, declarate, how to initialize your variables and how to use them in the program, like I said. So a lot, a lot, a lot of information. I'm quite sure you guys are going to like it. So well, let's get to the exercises. Okay, guys, uh, welcome to the exercises. So let's start off uh, like always and let's log in as an expert first. Okay, as we are logged in, uh, let's create a new program. So let's create a new module, let's call it variables. And uh, the robot created for us two files. One is the dat file, the second one is the source file. And like I said in the 
uh, video, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the differences by uh, defining the variables inside the dat file and inside the source file. And you will see uh, how they uh, behave depending on where do you put them. So maybe first let's start with creating the variables in our source file. So let's open our source file. And as you can see, uh, we have our source file. Maybe let me clean up all of the filters so you will see it uh, like you see it on your pendant probably. So you see something like this. But like I said, in order for us to create variables and in order to uh, actually see what we're uh, doing and declarating, I highly recommend to turn on uh, all of those views. This way uh, you can define everything and you can actually make uh, uh, changes to the program. Without enabling those filters, you might uh, not see something uh, or something might be lost uh, while programming. So, uh, first of all, there are two things we need to know, like I said. First of all, you need to define a, a variable, so declare it then uh, you should initiate the variable and then uh, you can use it. So uh, first of all, under the, uh, in here, we're going to do our declarations. So that's called the declaration sec section. So let's declare few var variables. The first one is going to be an integer called x underscore src. So I'm going to name them uh, so we know where they are coming from, either from the uh, source file or the that file. So that integer will come from our source file. Uh, let's decorate a real va value as well. Let's name it like this. And that one, let's add an int to it, so we know uh, what's going on. And the uh, next type that I that we spoke about is was the uh, boolean. So let's declare the boolean. Uh, and the last type that we are uh, we were talking about was a char. So let's declare that one as well. All right, so uh, once we have all of the variables uh, declared, we should initiate the variables. Uh, you ask me, is it really needed? Well, that depends. Uh, I will show you what will happen when we declare the, the variable and what will happen if we do not declare uh, the initiate the variable. Basically, initiating a variable means uh, assigning some value to it at the beginning of the program. So uh, in our uh, any, let's give a value of two to our uh, integer. Okay, so we have that ready. Uh, and let's now, let's right now in our program, let's do some maybe a mathematic operation and uh, let's give some values to our variables. So first, I'm going to start with our uh, integer and it can be equal to the integer plus, let's say, five. Uh, then let's assign something to our real val value. Let's do like this. Then uh, let's define state of our uh, Boolean. And let's leave the char empty. Okay, so this way you can see uh, what we've done. So we've declared new variables, we initiated one of those, and then we're doing some operations uh, on them. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close it. I'm going to save the program. Uh, okay, uh, we made a typo here. Uh, so let's uh, change it. It's source file. And then in here as well. Okay, let's save it. 
Okay, now we're happy. So let's select that program uh, and let's try to run it. But beforehand, uh, I wanted to show you something. So in order to see what's going on with those variables, uh, we want to take a look at them. If you, if you want to take a look, uh, we got to go to our menu. We're going to want to do display variable and single variable. And in here, you're going to uh, put the name of our variable, uh, the module we're, we're uh, currently in, and we, we will be able to see what is the current value of that variable. So let me clean up the view a little bit. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to see my x underscore int underscore. So uh, if we want to take a look at our variable right now, you can see that the current value of that variable is zero. That's because the, the program never ran and we are not able to actually see what's going on. So only after we're going to run through the lines, for example, for our X, as soon as we're going to run through our init line, so the init line is already completed, you can see that we have the value of two on our X because in our init, we declared the value of two. But if we're going to take a look, for example, at, of, an, at our real variable that we didn't initiate, you can see there will be nothing in there. So we're starting with uh, nothing inside that variable. Now, as we continue through the program, we already ran through all of the, li the lines. So when we try to see the value right now, you can see uh, that the value has been re uh, uh, written in that line and the same will state for our boolean variable you can see that uh, the value is set to true but as we run to the end of the program and our program is already finished and you're trying to read the value of your uh, boolean or your real or your int, you can see that you're not able to do it. And that's because the all of the memory has been, let's say, wiped out. That's because all of your declarations or of your uh, initialization is done inside your source file, not inside the uh, that file. So I want to show you now the difference between defining this in source file and defining that in a dat file. So let's close that. Let's cancel out the program. Let's open our uh, dat file. And let's do some uh, declarations uh, and definitions in here. So you can see what is going to be the difference. So uh, let's define declarate integer in our dat file. Let's declarate a char in our dat file. Okay, so we have those. Let's close it. We want to save it. So right now, what we can do is uh, in our init line, we can also add a value to, for example, our char and let's call it A. Okay. So now, because the program is selected, or let's try, let me try to select it once more. So we're going to select the program and Let's see what can we see on our variables. So we did declarate. So if we try to do the source, you can see we have it empty. And when we do the dot, we have it empty as well. So let's run through our init line. Okay. We've run through the init line. So our X our X from the dat file didn't change. What about our char? 
We did already assign a value of a to our char because it is inside our init line. Now, as we continue through the program, we're going to run to the, our home. We're going to run to the end of the program. But as you can see, we still can read the values of the variables that we define in that file. So if we try to click it, uh, if we try to read it, we are still able to do that. But if we're trying to read the source, we won't be able to read it because basically it is not uh, stored in the memory anymore. Just to sh see that better, let me show you. If, I'm sorry, if, uh, if in our variables file, in the that file, we're going to assign a value to our x, You can see that at the moment that we select the program, the value is being uh, already declared. The moment you run through the init line, and if there will be anything uh, in here, you can see that the value updated uh, because of the init line, init line. But I didn't need to do it because all that's being stored in that file is automatically uh, being kind of moved to the program. So the way how you're going to declare and initiate variables, guys, it's totally up to you. You can do it however you want. Uh, it's uh, your program, so you make uh, the rules. Whatever you feel it's better, probably that's the way to do it. Uh, you see the differences between doing them using those uh, in the dat file. You see the differences between using those in the source file. So it will be uh, up to you to define what actually would you would like to see. Uh, one more thing I wanted to talk about, because I said about the dat file, I said about the uh, source file. There is also a way to de declare a global variable that's available to all of the programs. But in order to do that, you need to use uh, the config file and you can declare it over there. One of the variables that we have available in KUKA all the time is the home position. So if we're going to try in here to look for the home position, sorry, you can see that it's the position is available to us uh, regardless of the fact where we are in the program and what program we have selected. So that's something to keep in mind in order uh, if you want to use a global variables. Thank you. All right. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Like always, leave your comments down below. Give it a like, subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.